Welcome and thanks for joining us today. I'm Brian Orpals, VP of Advanced Technology, and I'm joined by Jason Kayser, our Senior Manager of Infrastructure Engineering inside of Worldwide's internal IT department. We're here today to spend a few minutes talking about infrastructure modernization. And the first thing is, what is infrastructure modernization? And at Worldwide, we simply define it as a software-defined, integrated IT architecture that focuses on streamlining IT operations to deliver agile and flexible services that enable the workforce, our users, and our consumers. So as the operator of Worldwide's internal IT systems, what are the, some, some of the challenges that you face? So, Brian, to me, this is an interesting one. Worldwide's internal IT team deals with the exact same challenges that our customers deal with on a daily basis. Um, there's a lot of things that keep me up at night. Things I really focus on are, how is Worldwide growing quickly? How are we growing globally? How do we internally support that growth in a way that, that doesn't slow our users down? We've consistently got business units coming to us with different asks. How do we onboard new cloud services? How do we enable the things that they need to make worldwide um, a differentiating partner for our customers? Um, while we're trying to do this, how do we do these things in a way that's really secure at the same time? Well, that's, that's great. And you know, as the guy that has responsibility for things like network and compute and storage, how do the users that you serve really feel about uh, those systems and how they support the efforts that they are required to steward to on behalf of the company? So this one's really fun to me. So we start thinking about what we want to deliver. Um, some of our key groups are really our application development teams. Um, their ask of us is how does the infrastructure team um, get out of their way, right? How do we enable them to deliver services fast? How do we enable them to deliver services quickly? How do we enable them to deliver services that scale basically on demand? Um, functionally, from my team's perspective, we don't want to be seen, right? We want to enable services for those guys so that basically they can roll out functionality that the business needs from them. So it really sounds like there's a lot of differences of the IT today than there were maybe a few years ago. And along with that, how has that affected your workforce and the skills that they've needed, needed to have to support the growing needs of the business? So that's also one of the more interesting things. Um, in the past, we could have guys who were really focusing on, hey, I can know how to run a network. I can know how to run storage. I can run compute. Um, these really siloed uh, skill sets. As we look at the workforce going forward, even internal IT on the infrastructure group, we're looking at guys that have skill sets in development areas so that they can run software as code um, versus really focusing on single sets of infrastructure. So building their skills is really important to us. Otherwise, they're not going to provide value for us in the long term or themselves. Well, Jason, it's a good thing that you've got infinite resources and people at your disposal to take care of all these things. Goes without uh, saying. Yeah, but in all seriousness, I think you know what we want to tie it back to now is how is Worldwide uniquely positioned to help our customers succeed on their infrastructure modernization objectives? And I, I really look at it as three main things. The first is really relating back to the growing globally and uh, growing at scale uh, at Worldwide. Uh, helping customers with their strategy. At an executive level, we really want to steward to their needs around advisory and assessment services to understand exactly what they have today and relate it back to an enterprise architecture that they can start instituting as the guideline for how they're going to build the business in the future. The second thing is it, it does ultimately come back to uh, products and solutions that are going to power the business, network compute, storage, mm -hmm. security. And our goal here should be to leverage all the resources at your disposal as a sales rep. Uh, the ATC, our professional services teams, to help customers evaluate and architect solutions and ultimately validate the best path forward for them so that they have confidence in the decisions that they've made for the long term. And the last thing really comes back to your workforce needs. And ideally, we've got the best position in the, in the marketplace because of the investments we, that we've made around on-demand lab capabilities in the ATC for training and, uh, and journey mapping purposes, uh, resources that can sit on site with our customers mm -hmm. around strategic staffing, to sit side by side with them as they learn new skill sets like automation. And lastly, the command center. If a customer needs support on a 24 seven basis, anywhere in the world, they can reach back to our teams that are there to support them on demand. And so those are the things that I think allow us to differentiate leveraging the full breadth and depth of capability and the investments that we've made as a company to hopefully drive an $11 billion company like Worldwide uh, to succeed in the future. If you're interested in learning more, please reach out to your account manager and check out WWT.com.